live na ba? Yes po, yes. live na tayo. Yes, so good morning po. Magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Sa ating mga naunang viewers, magandang umaga. Ayan, so nandito na naman tayo sa ating third episode ng ating Comprehensive Health Webinar Series. Ayan, good morning po kay Ma'am Vilma Mina. Good morning. Ayan, so habang inaantay natin ang ating mga iba pang kasama, Yan, let's take this opportunity para magkamustahan muna. Good morning, Ma'am Ivy, Ma'am Glyza. Good morning sa Patol National High School. Good morning po, Kabulay National High School. Ayan, Ma'am Marisa, Ma'am Esmeralda. Magandang umaga po. Salamat po sa pagtugon ninyo sa ating programang ito. Magandang umaga po, Sir JR from Divisoria. Good morning. Good morning po, Ma'am Karil from Baptista Village Elementary School. Good morning, Ma'am Harleen from Rosario. Ay, good morning, Ma'am Ami from San Andres Elementary School. Ayan, very active si Ma'am Ami sa mga ganitong programa. Good morning, Ma'am Lilen from Patul. Ayan, magandang umaga po. Kamusta ang lahat? Tapos na ba ang ating mga ibang ginagawa sa office? Nagsisimula na ba ang bakasyon? Good morning po, Ma'am Teresa Costudio ng Santa Rosa. Hi, Ma'am! Ma'am Teresa. Good morning, Lorgina of Divisoria High School. Good morning, Ma'am Teresa. Salamat po sa... Pagtugon sa ating programang ito, uh, salamat po dahil kasama namin kayo ngayon. Good morning. Si Ma'am Maria Mayla Santos. Hello po. Ayan. So, good morning Sir Marlon of Sagana High School. Good morning Sir. Thank you. Good morning Ma'am Jessie from Santiago North Central School. Hello po, Ma'am Mary Grace from Luna ES. Good morning po. Ayan, so dumadami na po tayo. Ayan, si Ma'am Crystal Bistante of Patton National High School. Magandang umaga po. Ma'am Gladys P. Carr of Rosario Elementary School. Hello, good morning po. Welcome. Ayan. Sabi, so sabi ko nga po kanina, ang ating programang ito ngayong umaga ay episode 3 na ng ating Comprehensive Health Webinar Series for this year 2021. Ayan. So, dahil episode 3 na po tayo, ngayong umagang ito, magkakaroon din tayo ng iba namang topic. Ayan. Kung napapansin niyo po, hello Sir Honey of Rizal. Good morning Sir Ace. Hi. Ayan. So, Kung napapansin nyo, tayo-tayo lang po, ano, tayong mga personal ang magkakasama ngayong umagang ito. Ang ating mga teachers, ayan. Dahil kayo naman po ang bida ngayong umagang ito. Hello, Ma'am Elizabeth Bergadero. Nasaan ka? Asa taas ka lang ba? Good morning po. For, thank you for joining us, Ma'am. Hello, Ma'am Geraldine. Ayan, ang dami na. Tumadami na po tayo. Ayan, sabi ko nga po, ah, uh, Pansin nyo, tayo ang magkakasama ngayon dahil ang programang ito ay para sa ating naman. Tayo naman po. Uh, dahil itong oras na ito ngayon, dahil na bakasyon, bakasyon ng mga bata, ayan. Bigyan pansin naman natin yung ating sarili. Kayo, kayong mga guro. Tayo-tayo naman po. So, kailangan natin ito. Minsan nakala natin hindi, <laughs> pero... Alam niyo po, mas maganda ang pagtuunan din natin ng pansin or magbigay tayo ng oras para sa mga ganitong uh, programa dahil kaya uh, kailangan din po talaga natin ito. There is a need for us to know and to refresh, to review ourselves regarding these concepts. So ano nga ba yung sinasabi ko po? Ano? So ang ating episode 3 for Comprehensive Health Webinar Series focuses on mental health program, states of mental health during pandemic, building a positive self-concept. And so, sana po ay makasama namin kayo mula umpisa hanggang pagkatapos ng ating programang ito. Ito po ay very short, uh, short program lang po para sa ating lahat. Ayan. 
So, yes, good morning from Balintokatok Integrated School. Good morning, Ma'am Melanie. Ayan, so may makakasama po tayong speaker na kasama rin natin sa DepEd na magbibigay ng uh, lecture about building a positive self-concept, which is really very uh, prominent issue para sa panahon ng pandemic. Ayan, so to officially start this program, May we have our national anthem? Let's all stand for our national anthem to be played by audio visual presentation. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to meet together. Please help us to come together to make this institution reflect your kingdom. Breathe life into our ideas and decisions. Help us build a team that has love and respect at its heart. Give us the strength to continue working for your kingdom in this time of pandemic. Lord, come give us the inspiration to be the best we can be. May we be a shining example of your goodness and truth within, wherever we are. Inspire our thoughts, discussions, and ideas, and continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish, is for the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of you. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Let's remain standing for, our, for the recitation of quality policy. The mission and mission of the Department of Education and the ISO quality policy of DepEd Region 2 to be led by Miss Precious Lady Gina Tolosig, Nurse 2. The DepEd Vision. We dream of Filipinos who passionately love their country and whose values and competencies enable them to realize their full potential and contribute meaningfully to building the nation. As a learner-centered public institution, the Department of Education continuously improves itself to better serve its stakeholders. The DepEd mission, to protect and promote the right of every Filipino to quality, equitable, culture-based, and complete basic education where students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, and motivating environment. Teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Administrators and staff as stewards of the institution ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged 
and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Let us put our right hand on our chest. Together, recite the quality policy. We are a client-friendly institution, always ready to deliver relevant, nurturing, and liberating K-12 basic education curriculum and services to all our customers. We commit to provide quality, timely, transparent, responsive, and equitable services to our stakeholders in compliance with laws, rules, policies, procedures, and the principles of continual improvement for good governance. Yes, okay, we may now see it, Pa. Thank you so much. Uh, at this juncture, may we give to you our Chief in the Schools Governance Operations Division, Ma'am Rosalia B. Gutierrez, for the opening and welcome address. Thank you, Ms. Prey. To our division executive, our school's division superintendent, Dr. Cherry S. Ramos, our assistant school's division superintendent, Dr. Jonathan A. Fronda, our CID chief, Ma'am Janet Bautista, our SDO's health and nutrition section led by our medical officer, Dr. Alvin Agustin and his staff. Sarisa Chiha, our YFP division focal person. Of course, our source speaker, Ma'am Joy Hermosura, our dear teachers, school heads. Good morning and welcome to our episode three of the Comprehensive Health Webinar Series of 2021, focused on raising awareness and developing confidence to a positive concept. I would like to start by wishing you and your families my personal best for our health and safety in these difficult times. Yes, we have a pitch of tremendous challenges, but we should focus on hopeful signs. The COVID-19 knows no boundaries, but our fight against it also knows no boundaries. The pandemic and lockdown has left many with us with low self-confidence and is struggling to find the self-motivation for work. It has become a well-being issue for us teachers during the COVID-19 and is something to consider as we look to build resilience during this crisis. COVID-19 has had effect on our self-confidence in so many ways. Everyone experiences stress and copes with it differently. And this is what our webinar will address for us to raise our awareness and develop confidence to a positive concept amidst this pandemic. We all know that at present is in exceptional times. We need exceptional action. Let us all learn from this webinar. Thank you very much and good morning. Thank you so much, Mom Gigi, for gracing our activity, and thank you for the opening, for the warm uh, welcome address. At this juncture, uh, may, we, may I present to you our Division Medical Officer 3, Doc Alvin Agustin, for the statement of purpose. Healthy morning to everybody, especially to our top managers, to our inspiring SDS, Dr. Cherry Ramos. To our ASDS, Dr. Jonathan Fronda, our SGOD Chief, Dr. Rosalia Gutierrez, to Sir Marfield, Ma'am Che, Ma'am Prey, Dr. Leia, Ma'am Kat, Sir Reese, and to all the participants of this morning of this forum, good morning. So stigma is something that gets uh, associated with all the people's belief systems and uh, create a certain attitude towards the pandemic. Since the beginning of COVID-19, it was associated with devastation and death, and this received a very negative global picture. There are a few reasons for all the negativity about COVID-19. 
the factors that attribute to higher stigma associated with COVID-19 are highly contagious uh, nature of the illness, contagious prevention measures, social distancing, non-availability of definite treatment options, prolonged quarantine, and the risk of serious um, complications and, and or even death. So these features of the illness make it scary to be perceived by the general population. So the purpose of this forum is also to update mental health strategies in the context of such um, rapidly contain contagious um, illness, which can act as a resource for such a situation currently and in the future. So have a healthy mind and spirit, everybody. So learn also to share what you've learned from this um, forum. Good day to everybody. Thank you, Doc Alvin, for the very comprehensive statement of purpose for this activity. At this juncture, um, Ma'am Che Daluna, our nurse and the focal person of this activity, will now present the participants of this activity. Hi, Paul. Good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, today, uh, uh, inatasan po ako na i-present po ang ating participant. Our participant for today is our teaching and non-teaching personnel. And then we have our stakeholders and parents also. Uh, this is our uh, third comprehensive health webinar series for 2021 about mental health programs. So hindi lang po ito ang ating magiging program. So marami pa pong susunod na mga programa until the end of the year po. Kasi mahalaga po na uh, maibigay po natin yung uh, servisyo po para sa lahat na especially po our mental health. So later po mamimit po natin ang ating resource speaker. Walang iba po si Ma'am Joy Hermosura. Uh, for, to, for now, there are po uh, 109 uh, participants watching today. And later on po, papasok din naman sila. Uh, welcome po sa lahat. Uh, we're about to start na po our um, program for mental health program. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Nurse Check. Ayan. So dumadami na po tayo for this activity. Thank you so much. And of course, this activity will not be complete without the message from the mother of our department, our school's division superintendent, Ma'am Cherry S. Ramos. Thank you very much, Pray, for uh, uh, this opportunity again to connect with our uh, teachers, our parents, and everybody here in the community. As we say, uh, this is now the episode three of Comprehensive Health Webinar. Uh, we're in, uh, we are together once more to express our uh, support and services to the whole community of Santiago City. What is all about this? Uh, we are wondering why uh, there's another growth rate of the virus, right? Sabi natin, COVID-19 strikes again. And this time, we must be more vigilant in knowing how to make ourselves uh, at peace with what uh, what are the uh, situations we are encountering in the environment. As we say, we need to act on uh, the process and we must have uh, something to do. With your guidance, as I know, uh, with the leadership, of course, of our SGOD chief, Mama Gigi, and of course the focal uh, doc albian with you uh mom che uh, precious maybe uh, with you also is um the other hnu personnel uh, doc leia we are hoping that this day will give us another uh, armor or weapon of which we can counter the emotions we are expressing now. I just want to share with you uh, the one I have read uh, regarding uh, uh, the word stop. When we have uh, heard about COVID-19, 
our setup would be we are so stressful. We have so much anxiety. And we must have to battle with this that we are feeling with. And what are we going to do with this? Um, some of the writers, well-known writers, will tell us we need to stop. What is the meaning of stop in this generation now? Stop means not doing anything. That's not. We must have to stop what we are doing and press the pause button on your thoughts and actions. There's a need to take that stop and don't make any detour so that we can at least have a healthy mind, a healthy body that would be ready with this that we are facing about. Stop uh, has letter T also, right? Letter T in the word stop is the word take. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself and bring yourself fully into the present moment. We are here now. We cannot stop being involved in here. Sa mga magulang natin, sa mga mag-aaral na nandito ngayon, sa mga teachers natin, sa mga mag, uh, mga pinuno ng pamahalaan at ang uh, iba pang mga uh, principals or school heads na, na nakikinig sa atin ngayon, kailangan nating uh, mag deep breath. Lalong-lalo na uh, as we are uh, having this situation, we are also still doing our share in the growth and development of our children. Paano na yan? Meron ito, pero kailangan pa rin nating gumalaw para sa ating mga mag-aaral. So, in here, we need to know where to bring ourselves fully in the present situation. Later, you will be knowing how to handle yourself, your emotion, uh, in the situations we are having now. And uh, mind you, this will be uh, the uh, best action that you can do for now. The best action that we can have uh, uh, to also influence others to uh, be safe emotionally and uh, be safe physically. Another in the word stop, uh, letter, I should say, in the word stop is letter O. We need to observe. Observe what is going on with the environment, with you, with your body, with your emotions, your mind. What are you thinking this time? That uh, we have known about the number of cases, for example, here in Santiago City. How do you set that uh, mind uh, thinking of what will happen next? How would you... Uh, Settle your emotions and what will be the reaction of your body with the situation. These are just some of the questions that we need to answer and, of course, to settle later after this episode three. I know Mama uh, Joyce will have to tackle to you many of uh, her uh, not only knowledge, but of course, the properties of uh, uh, being safe and healthy, not only physically, but emotionally and mentally, but of course, with the blend of spiritual uh, um, intervention. And lastly, of course, is letter P. Proceed. Proceed with whatever you were doing, making a conscious intentional choice to incorporate what you just will learn okay so uh ladies and gentlemen to our dear parents our dear learners teachers school heads and all those who are uh, listening to all of us now our main intention here is how to have the forward marching of uh, all uh, the entities we have we call it an act of uh, service to all of you and may this serve as uh, a way for us to proceed 
um, our life positively, accepting all that uh, are happening in the environment and making sure that uh, we stay healthy mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. For this, I say, let us do the breathing, the pausing, and the responding more positively this morning and the days to come. Good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you so much, Mom, Cherry, as yes, Cherry, for the kind words, for the therapeutic communication na binigay niyo po sa amin ngayong umaga nito. And for sharing, stop. So everybody, let's stop. Ayan. Thank you po so much po. Of course, uh, nagsisimula pa lang tayo, but yeah, na, na ating na natin yung objective ng ating mental health program this morning. Ayan. But that's just a side dish, of course, because uh, we are now to serve you the main course of this activity, which is the lecture of our resources speaker, Ma'am Joy P. Hermosura, the a registered guidance counselor and teacher three of SDO Santiago City. Good morning, Ma'am Joy, and welcome po to this activity. Okay, good morning okay, to, good to our uh, uh, SDS, Ma'am Cherry Ramos, to our ASDS, Dr. Jonathan Fronda, and of course, to our chiefs, Ma'am uh, Gigi Gutierrez and Ma'am Janet Bautista, and uh, uh, the unit that spearheaded this, uh, this activity to the HNU, uh, Dr. Alvin, Dr. Leia, Nurse Prey, Nurse Chen, Nurse Kathy, and uh, all our fellow teachers who are here with us today. Good morning po, and I'm glad that uh, we are once again talking about uh, one of the, probably one of the things uh, one of the uh, topics no brought uh, that was brought out during this pandemic and it's about the mental health okay so nurse pray can i uh, uh, start already <laughs> okay na yes po. yes po ma'am i okay so let me share with you my screen Okay, so the, the topic given to me was about the states of mental health during the pandemic, fostering a positive self-concept. So imagine, you know, how do we foster a positive self-concept when we are in this situation? Right? But, you know, uh, as we go on, um, we will discover that we could, you no, know, we really could improve ourselves and uh, we could uh, develop, if not um, enhance, no, our positive self-concept, even in this dark time. Okay, so let's have a um, an energizer, no? Shempre hindi tayo pwedeng magsayaw-sayaw ngayon kasi magkakaiwalay tayo, and then uh, in this uh, during this time also na discover natin yung mga ibat ibang paraan kung paano ma-motivate, ma-mindset ang ating mga uh, ang ating mga uh, tagapakinig, no? So, some of you most probably have already uh, um, encountered some of this but nevertheless I'm going to uh, to present it to you. Okay, so let's start. Ayan. So, sa ating mga viewers, say silk five times. Okay, nasabi na ba? Now, spell silk. Okay. Now, the question. Okay. What do cows drink? 
Ano ang, uh, okay, what do cows drink? Okay, so what's your answer? The answer is water. Okay, so if you answered milk, probably your brain is, sabi dyan, overstressed and may even overheat. Ayan, so nabanggit kanina ni ma'am, ni ma'am, uh, SDS that we have to pause, we have to stop. Okay, so if uh, if we don't stop, our brain will be so stressed. Okay, next. Yeah, let's count. Okay, now. What is the sum of all of this? Okay. Did you say 4,100? Or did I hear you say 5,000? Okay. So, ano? Tama po ba ang ating mga sagot? Okay. Let's look at this one, no? What just happened? Are we mindful or are we mindful? Okay? Is our mind full? Okay? Punong-puno ba tayo ng iniisip kahit bakasyon na? Or we're mindful of the here and now? Kung nasaan tayo ngayon, kung ano yung inaatinan nating uh, webinar, okay? Or ang nakalagay din dyan ay iba't ibang webinars kasi marami rin tayong webinars ngayon, no? So, there. So, what is mindfulness? No? So, it is paying attention to the here and now with kindness and curiosity. Okay? Meaning, focus. No? May focus po ba tayo ngayon? Or napakarami nating iniisip? Are we mindful or mindful? Okay. So, So, in this session, no, I want you to be mindful and I hope that you have an open mind and heart for this session, a willingness to learn or probably relearn no, or unlearn, okay? a willingness to reflect on personal experiences, an acceptance of who you are, a willingness to enhance oneself okay so before that so i hope that you'll be mindful of our learning session today by actively participating so that you can equip yourselves and be a light to someone else okay believe that you are here for a reason you know there's a lot in this world that we can't see with our eyes, diba? But if you look with your heart, you'll see amazing possibilities everywhere and all around you. Believe that we can build a better world. So despite all the problems, no, our worries and uh, the war that we are in now, okay, this pandemic, there's still so much caring. Nakikita nyo ba sa paligid natin, di ba? Uh, nagsulputan yung mga community pantries, kailan lang. Okay? And that's goodness. Okay? And kindness. Okay? And uh, of course, with, with the little thing that we can do, what that we are doing, I'm sure that together, we can still light the world. Okay po? So, there. So, again, let's try to have another mental exercise. Ayan. So, I know that you're familiar with four pigs, one word. I just tried this one, no? Uh, I just tried to, to make some, no? Tignan natin. Okay. So, ayan. Tignan nga natin. What word? So, four pigs, one word. So, ano ang word kaya? na na-capture nung, nung four pictures na yan. So we have there, Alaska, Texas, Colorado, Oregon. <laughs> ano kaya yan? Those are, 
If you answered states, then you are correct. Okay? So there. So let's have another one. Okay. So those are the pictures. So ano kaya yan? Ano kaya ang pwedeng salita dyan? Okay, nag-try ako. I, I tried hard, no, to capture the pictures, no, uh, so that uh, you'll be able to uh, to guess. Okay, what's that? Did you answer mental? Okay. So there. And the last one. Ayan. Ano kaya yan? Okay. So, did you just answer help? Okay. So, there, no? I, I hope, no, I captured that, the, the different uh, pictures for you to be able to, to uh, guess the word, no? So, okay. So, we have here states, mental health. Kumusta na ba tayo, no? After more than a year of pandemic, Kumusta na tayo? Ah, di ba last year, mga ganitong panahon, parang nangangapa pa tayo, no? Nagsisimula pa lang na i-craft natin yung ating BELCP. Kasi nga, it's, it's a truly new new experience for us, no? Now, how are we now after a year, more than a year? Okay, kumusta na kayo? How is the state of your mental health? Okay. Still, uh, ano ba tayo? Siyempre, still alive and kicking, no? Ayan. Okay. So, let's start, no? Uh, discussing this with what researchers tell us. Okay? Uh, Evidence-based. Ano na nga bang mga ebidensya, no? So, there was a study conducted by uh, Quian et al. in February of this year entitled, the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on physical and mental health issues of Asians, no? Asians po ito. So, a study of seven middle-income countries in Asia. Kasama po ang Pilipinas, no? This said study aimed to compare the mental health status during pandemic in the general population of these seven middle-income countries. So, all countries use the impact of event scale, okay, revised, and depression, anxiety, and stress scale, or what we call the DASS-21, no? Now, let's look at the figures. Ayan. So, it was found out in that study that the top three countries with highest, and yung DASS again, it's depression, anxiety, and stress scale. Okay. So the top three countries, no, of the seven countries, Asian countries, no, kasama ang Pilipinas with the highest stress scores. Okay. So kasama tayo. Okay. Let's have another one. It was also found out that kasama rin ang Pilipinas with the highest depression, top three. Okay? So there. So, um, when they look at the demographics, no? So, kasama tayo dyan. Pero nung tinignan nila yung demographics, alam nyo ba ang, uh, ang uh, na-found out nila? So, in terms of stress, no, sabi dito, participants who have children were associated with lower stress. So yung may mga anak daw, no, associated with lower stress, anxiety, and depression. O, di ba? So yung may mga anak dyan, mapapatotoo nyo po ba, no, na, na lower ang stress, depression, and anxiety? Alam nyo ba kung ano naman, no, yung yung mga participants na mataas, no? Ang stress, depression, and anxiety, these were the participants with the higher education, single and separated, 
yun ang matataas ang anxiety this uh, ang anxiety stress and depression okay so it was also found out that staying with six or more people and those who were employed were associated with lower anxiety and depression so di ba tayo uh, sa Pilipinas no uh, actually marami tayo sa mga bahay no uh, extended family Okay? And during this pandemic, I'm sure na nagkakabond no, ang family, nakikilala ang isa't isa kasi nga mas mahaba yung time na nasa bahay tayo. Diba? Nakikilala natin yung ating mga, kung may mga anak, mga anak. Okay? Nakikilala natin yung ating partner or asawa or yung ibang mga kasama natin sa bahay. Okay? And Probably because yun ang support system, eh, di ba? That's why uh, staying with with more people, no, at home, probably lower lower the anxiety and stress and depression because you have someone to unload, di ba? Nakapag unload tayo sa kanila. Okay, so yun. So do, that's about uh, the research on the Southeast Asian. Um, a country, seven Southeast Asian countries. Okay, another one. Okay, so sabi dyan, the protective factors for mental health include male gender. Okay, ayan. So, staying with children, staying with six or more people, nabanggit ko kanina, employment, Siyempre, lower ang, ang stress, anxiety, and depression pag merong trabaho, di ba? Confidence in own doctors diagnosing COVID-19. High perceived likelihood of surviving COVID-19, especially now, no? So, medyo siguro meron na tayong, uh, lalo na yung mga vaccinated. Sino na po ang mga vaccinated dito and fully vaccinated? So, most probably, yung perception natin na surviving uh, COVID-19 is is already high, no? Yung ating, ano, yung perception doon. Okay. Spending less time on health information. O, oh, see? Nakaka-stress pala pag basa tayo ng basa ng mga ng, uh, tungkol sa health information. While, while it's informative, no? But sometimes, this could also cause us stress. So, if, if we, if we lessen no gaya ngayon no uh, i mean region 2 we're not we're not ano uh, uh, we know very well that region 2 now is on a red alert status i think no uh, for covid-19 no especially the provinces of Cagayan, Quirino and Nueva Vizcaya okay so kung medyo na stress tayo Iset aside na natin yan. Okay, so alam na natin na ganun. So we do our best, we do our part to protect each other. Okay? Next, hand hygiene practice and wearing a face mask. So it's still it's still a must, no? Especially with the Delta variant that we have now. Okay. Now, there is another study this time here in the Philippines, no? It's conducted by, it was conducted by Mind Nation. Ayan. So, dito na mismo sa ating bansa ito, Filipinos. So, a survey by Mental Health and Wellbeing Organization, Mind Nation, among 6,000 respondents found out this. So, 23% of Filipino workers think about quitting due to mental health challenges. So, you see... Uh, in the uh, study conducted at sa, dun sa Southeast Asia kanina, medyo lower yung depression, anxiety, and uh, and stress no? uh, nung mga may trabaho. But here, no, it says otherwise. 23 of Filipino workers think about quitting due to mental health challenges. Okay? The group also said that the top sources of mental health challenges are ayan, fears 80 percent financial pressures 47 percent 
personal matters, 44%, work performance pressure, of which we need to watch out, that's 44%, and trying to juggle both family and work together, 25%. No, hindi natin pwedeng walain yung mga ano eh, yung mga uh, isa isang tabi or bali walain no, yung yung data. Kasi let's say for example, you're trying to juggle both family and work together. I've seen this in teachers like us, especially those with little kids, no, na dati sabay magtrabaho. I mean, pagpasok ng ng trabaho ni teacher, nagtuturo siya yung anak niya, tinuturuan naman ng iba kasi school age children sila. But now, imagine the they have to juggle with looking after the needs of their children who are having online classes or modular uh modular um ang tawag dito, modality and then at the same time nagtuturo din. Di ba po? So, there. So, this one tells about the statistics here in the Philippines. Okay, so, the key challenges faced at work include, ito po, lack of focus and concentration. Probably because of those, no? They have to juggle between between work and uh, the and, uh, uh, home uh, concerns, Okay. So, lower than usual self-confidence, mababa ang self-confidence, and there are sleeping problems and feeling down. Okay? So, on a scale of 10, where 0 is depressed and 10 equates to feeling their best, no? the workers also rated their mental wellness, kung kayo, Ano sa inyo? 0 to 10. Sige nga, tingnan natin if you belong, if if medyo ma malapit kayo dun sa research. 0 to 10. On a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is depressed and 10 is you feel you feel your best. Okay. Saan kayo? Okay, in this study, no, they answered 6.5 okay 6.5 barely nasa ano lang siya nasa gitna siya no lumagpas lang ng konti and it's declining okay bumababa probably uh this this study will will again in, uh, i mean change no the result following the ECQ in most areas Okay, kasi marami na naman na, na, na napapanood natin sa TV, no? nag-aalala na wala silang trabaho, something like that. No? So those who were most affected by the pandemic were the workers aged 10 to 25, single with no kids. Imagine, single pa po, no? nag, ano sila, uh, though, uh, they claim that they are affected, most affected. Full-time night shift employees members of the LGBTQ community, and employees who prefer not to state their gender. Okay, so let us try to discuss the mental health challenges mentioned in the researches that we have just um, tackled. No? Ayan. So, I enjoy kong gumawa ng four picks, one word. Okay, so this one, what do you think is this? Ano kaya ito? Okay, so this one is stress. Hiki, tama ba? Tingnan nyo yung mga pictures, no? Feeling nyo ba na stress yung mga nasa pictures? Or minsan ba nakaka-relate tayo dyan sa mga ganyan? Ayan, no? Ang daming, ang daming mga, ayan, reports. Hindi na niya alam kung alin ang una niyang sasagutin. Cellphone. You see? Okay. So, it says that uh, from American Psychological Association that stress is a normal reaction to everyday pressures but can become unhealthy when it upsets your day-to-day -day functioning. So, kapag hindi na normal yung day-to-day -day functioning mo, then 
your stress level level may relatively be high. Kasi di ba meron tayong tinatawag na healthy stress. Di ba? Healthy stress yung nagiging productive ka. Okay, despite yung mga challenges, ganyan. So, okay pa rin yung trabaho, okay pa rin yung mga ginagawa natin, nasi-challenge pa tayo. But if uh, naapektuhan na ng hindi maganda yung ating trabaho, then that's the time that we need to, sabi ni Ma'am SDS kanina, stop. And that's true. Totoong-totoo yung sinabi ni Ma'am kanina. Okay? Now, let's look at this one. So what are the signs and symptoms of coronavirus uh, stress? So indeed, no, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has had major effects on our lives. Diba? Many of us are facing challenges that can be stressful, overwhelming, and can uh, cause different emotions. Not only with us, no, adults, but even for children. Okay? Di ba nga yung ating mga ba, yung mga ating mga estudyante nung simula ng module, wow, ang sisipag nila. Hindi natin kailangang mag-follow up ng submission. Tama po? Pero nung pagdating na ng, I think that's third quarter, no? napagod yata yung mga bata. Ayan na. So kailangan na natin silang i-follow up. Talagang continuous na yung ating social calls because wala wala na silang masyadong nasasagot no did you, did you did you also experience the same thing okay so public health actions such as social distancing are necessary to reduce the spread of covid-19 however they can they also made us feel isolated and lonely diba and it increased stress and anxiety. Iba tayong mga ano, uh, Filipinos, ano tayo eh, um, mga parang we hug, no? Kapag halimbawa, meron lang, hindi tayong, hindi masyadong uh, maayos ang pakiramdam natin, we just hug, no? Yung person na, ano, doon tayo kumukuha ng ating strength. Now, we cannot do that. No? I'm hearing na, Minsan, hindi pa natin mahag yung ating mismo mga magulang, especially if they are seniors. Why? Because because of the fear no, that we might transmit this virus to them or even to the children. Diba? So, yung, yung ginagawa natin na, I mean, na, na pang-iwas para sa transmission ng COVID-19, it's also the same thing that causes us. Uh, increased stress and anxiety. So imagine yung ano yung paradox na no? parang uh, yung dapat yung ano yung yung makakapagkalma sa atin, no? Dahil nga oh, may social distancing, bawal lang ganito para hindi ma-transmit yung virus. But that same thing, no, causes us stress and anxiety. Okay? So there. So but uh, we are already here, no? That's why uh, time, time, and again, we need to really refresh ourselves of the different techniques on how we could get out of this, no? Mental state. Okay. So, what are the signs and symptoms of coronavirus stress? Man. So, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the following are manifestations of stress brought about by COVID-19. Ayan. So, feelings of fear, anger, sadness, worry, numbness, or frustration. Okay? Lalo na ngayon, no? Heto na naman si Delta variant. We're in fear again. Right? We see, uh, we see hospitals full packed again with COVID-19 patients. And we hope and pray that it does not happen again here in our city. No? Because uh, kung ano yung mga nangyayari ngayon sa ibang lugar, alam na natin na nangyari na yun dito sa atin. So let's, let's, let's uh, keep praying for each other and let's do our part no? in the prevention of the spread of the virus. Okay, so there. Anger. Bakit ba tayo galit? Okay, kailan matatapos ito? Diba, ganun? 
sadness. Siyempre, malungkot tayo. Hindi nga natin makita yung ating mga ating mga ibang mga kaibigan, hindi tayo maka hindi natin magawa kung ano yung mga dati nating ginagawang nakakapagpasaya sa atin because uh, these are violations of the IATF protocols. Diba po? Worry. Hanggang kailan matatapos ito? Numbness. Numb na tayo, no? Ito na naman, ECQ na naman. Okay, parang wala na lang. And of course, frustration. Okay, there are a lot, a lot of frustrations. Okay? And uh, we could acknowledge that. Okay? There. Change in appetite, energy, desires, and interests. Ano? Change in appetite, ikinain na lang ba natin ng stress? Or ikinapapayat natin yung stress natin, no? Ayan. So, changes in energy. Naging low energy ba tayo? Or higher yung energy natin? I could see some, no? Yung ano nila, yung coping skills nila in terms of this one. So, instead of just staying home, uh, they buy following the IATF protocols, of course. They jog, di ba? So, yung energy nila, no, nabuboost. Okay. Changes in desires and interests. Na iba. Right? Okay. So, uh, if it's positive, no, kung positive yung, yung naging outcome, then well and good. But if not, then that is stress. It causes stress. So, there. So, there are always uh, two, way, uh, two ways, no? It's either... Uh, ikaw ang ikaw ang kainin ng stress or i-combat mo yung stress. Okay. Next, difficulty concentrating and making decisions. Yeah. Right? Ang ang hirap pa gumawa ng desisyon ngayong mga panahong ito. Okay, there are a lot of things that we need to consider. Difficulty sleeping or nightmares. Okay? Why? Kasi ang daming pumapasok sa ating isip. No? Ang dami nating iniisip. Na yan, nagkaka minsan nagkakaroon na ng nightmares. Physical reactions such as headaches, body pain, stomach problems, and skin rashes. Okay, worsening of chronic health problems. So kung meron ng dating health problem, minsan mas ano pa, mas... Uh, Mas tumitindi pa, no? Okay. And what else? Worsening of mental health conditions. Okay? So, um, uh, may depression na minsan, mas lalo pang madidepress. Okay? So there, nawo-worsen yung mental health conditions natin. Okay, sorry. Okay, what else? Increased use of tobacco, alcohol, and other substances. So, you try to, uh, pakiram, tignan natin yung mga sarili natin, no? Uh, nakikita ba natin dyan yung mga ginagawa natin? Or even, let's say, for example, with, with our friends, with our uh, family members, then if you see that they may be, uh, this may be symptoms of uh, coronavirus stress. Okay. Now, let's move on to the work-related factors that can add to stress during a pandemic. Bakit natin kailangang uh, i-discuss ito? No? But this one is coming from studies no, conducted. So why do we need to, uh, to discuss this? So that uh, we could be aware or, uh, I mean, we we are affirmed no that uh, what we are feeling is is a stress related factor okay and that we need to acknowledge it so that we could do something about it diba? okay what are this there concern about the risk of being exposed to the virus at work so isa yan no na nakakapag-cause ng stress di ba po uh, kapag halimbawa no um, 
alam natin na yung work natin actually sa atin pang edu hindi dito sa ano hindi pa masyado no but those in the those in the medical sector okay y yung ating mga frontliners siguro ang taas ng ano stress level nila when it comes to this one no risk of being exposed to the virus at work taking care of personal and family needs while working yun nga you have to juggle sabi kanina they have to juggle from from work to family needs of so personal and family needs okay managing a different workload right so ngayon di ba po sa atin medyo na iba no ang ating workload so that is that is uh, a cause of stress okay lack of access to the tools and equipment needed to perform your job Okay, yung mga dating uh, pwedeng ma makuha, no, ma-access ng mabilis, ngayon ang dami-daming proseso. Okay, feelings that you are not contributing enough to work or guilt about not being on the front line. Okay, so there, so that that's, uh, minsan, no, siguro may mga nakaisip parang mas marami pa sana akong magagawa no kung hindi ganito okay so that that is in itself a work related stress okay uncertainty about the future of your workplace and or employment we're lucky here in the uh, public sector that we are ensured no of our uh, of the retention of our jobs but how about those in the private sector so the uncertainty about their future in their workplace. No, baka mamaya bigla na lang matanggal and you have a family and they have a family to to feed. Okay? So Okay, another one is learning new communication tools and dealing with technical difficulties. So most probably uh, some of us, no, especially Actually, ngayon nga naging teki tayo eh. Lahat, halos, no, natutunan. But, you know, uh, at the beginning or even now, no, we still need to, what, progress in technology because, because this is our life now and probably this will be uh, part of uh, our modality in the future. Okay, so learning new communication tools. Ilan ang na-stress sa inyo nung sinabing online, online tayo, no? Okay, and even now with the uh, with the different reports being submitted online, no? So, ma marami pa rin, no? Ang hindi masyadong uh, adept, no? Dito sa technology. Okay, adapting to different workspace and or work schedule. Those who are displaced, let's say for example... May mga nababasa ako sa sa ating mga kasama minsan na totoo rin, no? Siyempre, ang classroom mo, that's your home in the school. But then, if the school will be used for um, a facility, for example, wala tayong magagawa kundi, kundi, uh, uh, ang tawag dito, kundi i-open yon and then we are made to transfer to other to other uh, classrooms or probably even other schools no so that we could uh, still function with our job no so there so means no uh, the change there no uh, causes stress to some no different workspace eh. iba iba yung at home ka di ba po okay so these are the common work related factors that you know, it can add up during a pandemic. That can add up during a pandemic. Okay, so let us be aware of this. And when we are, when we acknowledge, no, that we are, uh, that one or two or some of these factors are manifested already in us, no, let us be aware and do something about it. Okay. So, let's have another one. Ayan. Ano kaya ito? Okay. So, if your answer is depression, then you are right. Okay. 
So what is depression? Ayan. It's a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. So fortunately, it is also treatable. So depression causes feelings of sadness and or loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed. It can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems and can decrease your ability to function at work and at home. So mostly, you know, ito yung nakikita natin na ano na depression. At least ito nakikita natin, no? But there are some mani some depression some depressed people who are very good at handling it and they do not appear like this. No, they are well functioning, no? Pero iba pala yung iba pala yung nasa sa loob nila. And that we should be uh uh kumbaga parang uh, dapat alam natin yun, no? Uh, dapat kaya nakilala natin ang sarili natin. Okay? So, for us to be able to identify whether we are already depressed or not, no? Uh, we really need to know ourselves better. Okay? But it says here, depression is treatable. It is treatable. That's true. Okay? So, what are the signs and symptoms of coronavirus depression naman? Ayan. Okay, so coronavirus uh, depressions have become so prevalent, no? Uh, that it's sometimes described as quarantine depression. So, however, like anxiety, depression is actually a family of distinct disorders, no? Meaning... Uh, meron silang ibang mga kasamang sakit, no? Like, or condition, I should say. Okay. Like uh, bipolar disorder, which involves fluctuating between depressive and manic states, no? Minsan okay, minsan hindi. Okay? Uh, meron din tayong mga seasonal depressions. Okay? And according to an article published by the National University, some common symptoms of depression include ayan, crying fits, uncontrollable crying. Okay? So, tignan natin yung ating mga, ating sarili muna, yung ating mga uh, kasama sa bahay or mga kakilala, no? kung hindi naman siya dating ganun. No? So, crying fits, uncontrollable crying. Okay, difficulty concentrating. So, hindi na makapag-focus. May kailangang tapusin, pero dahil hirap mag-focus, walang natatapos. Okay? Next. Feelings of sadness, hopelessness, or worthlessness. Yan, pagkalungkot, kawalan ng pag-asa, o yung pakiramdam na walang kabuluhan. ba? Parang yung situation natin ngayon, feeling natin okay na. Ayan na naman si Delta. ba? Okay, irritability. Uh, nagiging short ang temper natin. Uh, madaling mairita. Okay. Next, loss of interest in relationship goals or hobbies. So, minsan nawawalan tayo ng gana na gawin kung ano yung mga dating, nating ginagawa. And we could not focus on the achievement of our goals because... They don't seem to interest us anymore, no? This may be due to feelings of uncertainties kasi hindi natin alam kung mahalaga pa ba ang mga ito. E ang concern natin ngayon ay yung uh, survival, right? So naisasantabi natin minsan yung mga relationships, goals, and hobbies because the focus now is survival. Okay. So, sleep disturbances such as heavy sleeping or insomnia. Yung tulog ka ng tulog, di ba? Sign yun ng depression. Or hindi ka makatulog. Okay? And weight fluctuations. Yan. So, hindi ma-maintain ang right weight for our height. Minsan, sobra-sobra. Uh, Minsan naman, kulang na kulang, underweight. Okay, so these are only some of the signs and symptoms of coronavirus depression. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, so ano po ito? Ito ay 
Yan, anxiety. So, anxiety, sabi dyan, is an emotion characterized by feelings of tension, worried thoughts, and physical changes like increased blood pressure. Okay, so pag sinabing tension, uh, tensionado ka, ano ibig sabihin nun? Uh, there is that feeling of mental or emotional strain. Minsan nagmamanifest ito kapag, halimbawa, yung tao hindi mapakali, no? natetense, sabi natin. Okay. Worried thoughts. People with anxiety disorders usually have recurring intrusive thoughts or concerns. Sobrang nag-aalala kung ano-ano ang pumapasok sa isip. Okay? So yun, worried thoughts. Nag-worry tayo. Okay. And physical changes. Okay, so they may avoid certain situations out of worry. They may also have physical symptoms such as sweating, trembling, dizziness, or rapid heartbeat. So ito yung mga physical changes na uh, physical, I mean physical symptoms no, na uh, we should be uh, aware about. Okay, so there. So that's anxiety. Now, what are then... The signs and symptoms of coronavirus anxiety. First, okay, so we have excessive sweating. Ayan, so sobrang pagpapawis. Hypervigilance. Ayan, you have an increased alertness. Okay, nagiging sobrang sensitive tayo sa paligid natin, no? Kahit yung mga taong nakakasalamuhan natin, lalo ngayon, no? Uh, Sobrang, kumbaga parang kahit sa mga kasama natin sa bahay, oh, mag-ingat. Ganito. Okay? So, yan. So, hypervigilance. Next. Insomnia. Hindi makatulog. Madalas kung ano-anong pumapasok sa isip, no? Hindi makatulog. Okay, next is irritability. So, sometimes, sabi nga kanina, we have short temper. So, halos overlapping yung mga, ano, yung mga signs and symptoms, no? Next, we have panic attacks. Okay, yan. Uh, sobrang, pinsan, naka-hyperventilate na, no? Uh, excessive sweating. Yan, trembling or shaking. Yan, shortness of breath. Okay, so those are signs of panic attacks. Ayan. Racing thoughts. Your, becomes, your mind becomes overactive. Okay. And you aren't able to slow down your thoughts. Hindi mo magawang i-relax yung isip mo kahit gusto mo nang matulog. Kahit alam mong pagod na pagod ka na, no? Uh, gusto mo nang matulog, hindi mo magawa. Okay? Hirap makapag-focus. Yan, kung ano-anong kumapasok sa isip. And most of the time, this leads to insomnia. Lalo na kapag may kilala tayo na na-infect, halimbawa, ng ano, COVID-19, kung ano-ano na rin ang pumapasok sa isip natin. Okay, yan, racing thoughts. Okay, restlessness, ayan. So, hindi mapakali, hindi makapag-relax. Okay. Ayan. Severe or intense stress, dahil sa kung ano-anong sumasagi sa isip natin na hindi natin makontrol minsan, ito'y nagiging cause ng, ng intense stress. Okay. Trembling or panginginig. Now, let us try to assess ourselves. So do we have the signs and symptoms of anxiety, of coronavirus anxiety? Meron ba tayo? Mula kanina, diniscuss natin, no, yung uh, stress, uh, I mean coronavirus stress, coronavirus depression, and this one, anxiety. Meron ba tayo, no? Tignan nga natin, i-assess nga natin, evaluate nga natin sarili natin. Meron ba? ba tayo ng mangilan-ngilan no? ng mga signs and symptoms na nabanggit? Okay. So, as each of us struggles to survive this pandemic, let us remember that we are either or we could either no? enrich or strengthen ourselves or bring out the best or the worst in us. Okay, dalawa yun eh. 
So sa mga na, nararam na 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 experience natin ngayon ano po uh, minsan no meron yung mga experiences na nakakapagpatatag sa atin pero meron din naman yung nakakapag uh, yun nga yung bring out the worst in us no because of the stress that we are experiencing i hope that we choose the former no let us choose to strengthen or to enrich ourselves okay so based from our experiences this pandemic have we discovered our strengths and weaknesses that could help us grow diba meron ba tayong na diskubre sa ating mga sarili na uh, maaring hindi natin alam noon no wow ganito pala ako katatag yung mga ganon Wow, kaya ko pala ito. So you see, so even if we are in this uh, in this uh, situation, no, a dark time, a dark time in our life, no, we could we could see uh, glimpses of light, no, at yun yung pwede nating palawakin, okay? So there, so this is an opportunity to discover those, and this is a means of enhancing our self concept, which is our kumbaga parang ano natin ngayon no main dish natin how to enhance our self concept yung ating tingin sa ating sarili okay let's look at this one so what is self concept no so it is how you perceive your behavior abilities and unique characteristics okay so that's according to bailey so for example Yung, yung mga pagkakilala sa sarili na I am a good friend, I am a kind person. This, these are parts of uh, the overall self-concept. Okay? And ang self-concept, hindi yan, hindi yan ano, hindi siya permanent. No? Sabi nga, it's malleable. Okay? When you're younger and still going through the process of self-discovery and identity formation, Ayun, so medyo dinidiscover mo kung halimbawang ano ka ba talaga, okay? So, it's malleable. Even now that you are adults, no, depending on our experiences, it could still change, okay? So there, so as you age and uh, uh, learn who you are and what's important to you, kasi our experiences uh, would definitely lead us, no? to knowing what are the important things for us, okay? The self-perception becomes more detailed and organized, diba? At its most basic, self-concept is a collection of beliefs one holds about oneself and the responses of others. So it embodies the answer to the question, the very simple question, who am I? Diba? O sige, matatanda na tayo, pero kilala ba natin ang ating mga sarili? Gaano natin kakilala ang ating mga sarili? Kasi with all of this happening around us, no, the challenges na uh, na nabobombard sa atin, it should be ourself, no? Ito yung bala natin eh, yung sarili natin. So, kung kung talo tayo, no, sa sarili pa lang natin, paano natin lalabanan yung mga outside factors? So, we really need to to enrich no our self concept okay now i would like you to watch this video sana ma ano ma malakas naririnig po ba
from the ancient Greek aphorism inscribed on the Temple of Apollo, Know Thyself, to the Who's Rock Anthem, Who Are You? Philosophers, psychologists, academics, scientists, artists, theologians, and politicians have all tackled the subject of identity. Their hypotheses are widely varied and lack significant consensus. These are smart, creative people. So what's so hard about coming up with the right answer? One challenge certainly lies with the complex concept of the persistence of identity. Which you is who? The person you are today, five years ago, who you'll be in 50 years. And when is am? This week, today, this hour, this second. And which aspect of you is I? Are you your physical body? your thoughts and feelings, your actions. These murky waters of abstract logic are tricky to navigate, and so it's probably fitting that to demonstrate the complexity, the Greek historian Plutarch used the story of a ship. How are you, I? As the tale goes, Theseus, the mythical founder king of Athens, single-handedly slayed the evil Minotaur at Crete, then returned home on a ship. To honor this heroic feat, for 1,000 years, Athenians painstakingly maintained his ship in the harbor and annually reenacted his voyage. Whenever a part of the ship was worn or damaged, it was replaced with an identical piece of the same material until at some point no original parts remained. Plutarch noted the ship of Theseus was an example of the philosophical paradox revolving around the persistence of identity. How can every single part of something be replaced, yet it still remains the same thing? Let's imagine there are two ships, the ship that Theseus docked in Athens, ship A, and the ship sailed by the Athenians a thousand years later, ship B. Very simply, our question is this, does A equal B? Some would say that for 1,000 years there has been only one ship of Theseus, and because the changes made to it happened gradually, it never at any point in time stopped being the legendary ship. Though they have absolutely no parts in common, the two ships are numerically identical, meaning one and the same, so A equals B. However, others could argue that Theseus never set foot on ship B, and his presence on the ship is an essential qualitative property of the ship of Theseus. It cannot survive without it. So, though the two ships are numerically identical, they are not qualitatively identical. Thus, A does not equal B. But what happens when we consider this twist? What if, as each piece of the original ship was cast off, somebody collected them all and rebuilt the entire original ship? When it was finished, Undeniably, two physical ships would exist, the one that's docked in Athens, and the one in some guy's backyard. Each could lay claim to the title, the Ship of Theseus, but only one could actually be the real thing. So which one is it? And more importantly, what does this have to do with you? Like the Ship of Theseus, you are a collection of constantly changing parts. Your physical body, mind, emotions, circumstances, always changing, but still, in an amazing and sometimes illogical way, you stay the same too. This is one of the reasons that the question, who am I, is so complex. And in order to answer it, like so many great minds before you, you must be willing to dive into the bottomless ocean of philosophical paradox. Or maybe you could just answer, I am a legendary hero saving a powerful ship on an Okay, so sabi doon, just as uh, we are a collection of constantly changing parts. Naniniwala po ba kayo? Sabi, we are a collection of constantly changing parts. Tama po ba? 
What then is self-concept? Okay. Ayan. Medyo nagluloko po ang laptop. Okay. So, according to uh, humanist psychologist, si Carl Rogers, no? So, he believed that our self-concept is made up of three parts. Yan. Nakikita natin, we have self-image, ideal self, and self-esteem. Okay? So, let us try to discuss first Ayan, self-image. So, nung self-image? Sabi niya, self-image is the way we see ourselves. Self-image includes what we know about ourselves physically. Okay? Ayan, brown hair, blue eyes, or black sa ating mga Pinoy, black eyes or brown eyes, black hair, di ba? Our social roles. Okay? and our personality traits. Okay? So, how do you see yourself including your attributes like your physical characteristics and social roles? Ba? Okay, so, self-image does not always match reality. Okay? So, dapat alam natin to, ano, yung, ano ba yung imahe natin talaga, di ba? self image tignan niyo yung nandiyan sa ano sa picture nakikita niya sa salamin so ano yung nakikita natin sa salamin di ba yung totoong tayo okay so some individuals hold an inflated perception of one or more of their characteristics na nagkakaroon ng incongruence dito sa tatlo so dapat itong tatlo ay congruent no to make up that self concept Okay? So, pero pag nagkakaroon ng inflated perception, okay, it could be positive or negative, then um, nagkakaroon ng imbalance minsan. Okay? So, sabi dito, these inflated perceptions may be positive or negative and an individual may have a more positive view of certain aspects of the self and more negative view of others. Okay? So, paano ba natin titignan ng ating mga sarili? Do we sometimes have an inflated perception of our characteristics? Or minsan naman, deflated, no? Kulang na kulang. Sinasabi na nga ng iba na, ganito ka, no? Uh, napakaganda ng iyong mata. Napakaganda ng, ng, ng role mo, no? Yan nga, gustong gusto yan ng iba eh. Bakit ikaw hindi mo makita? So, deflated yon, Okay? Deflated self-image. Hindi natin nakikita. Okay? So, how? How do we see ourselves in terms of this one? Do we sometimes have an inflated or deflated perception of our characteristics? So, let's think about it. Isipin nating mabuti. Kasi napakahalaga po niya na konsepto ng self-concept. Okay? Next, we go to another uh, component which is self-esteem. Alam natin to, self-esteem or self-worth, okay? How much you accept or value yourself, which can be uh, impacted by a number of factors, including how others see you, how you think you compare to others, and your role in the society. So, uh, self-esteem is the value we place upon ourselves. Diba? Kung ano yung, yung, yung pagpapahalaga, no? Self-esteem. Okay? Individual levels of self-esteem are dependent on the way we evaluate ourselves. So how do we evaluate ourselves? Minsan ba, sino short change naman natin yung sarili natin, no? Hindi tama ba, tama ba yung pagtingin natin, I should say, no? Sa ating sarili. Okay? Those evaluations incorporate our personal comparisons to others as well as others' responses to us. Now, 
when we compare ourselves to others and find that we are better at something, anong nangyayari? When they respond favorably to what you do. Okay? Bawa, pinuri ka. Okay, sa ginawa mo, ay, ang galing mo pala sa ganyang larangan. Anong nangyayari sa self-esteem natin? Di ba tumataas, nabuboost? Right? Okay. Kaya, yung, yung ano, yung minsan, uh, kahit na maliit lang na ginawa, lalo sa mga bata, for example, pag pinuri natin, nabuboost yung self-esteem nila. The same thing is true with us. Let's say, for example, we were given a task. And we pulled off, maski pa paano. And then pinuri tayo, ay, kaya ko pala. Diba? Kung halimbawa meron bagong, bagong task na binigay sa atin, bagong designation, inaral nating mabuti, and then we were successful in that. And then pinuri tayo, kaya ko naman pala. So nabuboost yung ating self-esteem. Right? Okay. However, kung halimbawa naman, no, uh, When we compare ourselves to others and we are not successful no, in, uh, in the task that uh, was given to us and people siguro negatively uh, react no, to what we have done, minsan talagang naapektuhan din ang ating self-esteem, no? bumababa. Okay? So kung hindi tayo nagtagumpay, minsan... Uh, talagang uh, nalulungkot tayo sa susunod parang ayaw mo nang ayaw mo nang gawin no uh, kasi nga parang uh, pumaba no yung ating self esteem din na appreciate halimbawa yung ginawa natin something like that ngunit hahayaan ba natin no na na mangyari yon na bumaba ang ating self esteem sa larangan na yon so ano pwede nating gawin no kasi minsan meron yung hindi natin forte yung isang bagay pero alam naman natin na kaya natin gawin lalo na ngayon ang dami diyan sa YouTube no kung paano gawin something like that uh, may meron namang pwede tayong yung library nga sabi natin it's it's within our fingertips no ang dami nating pwedeng pagkuhanan ng information ng techniques okay magpaturo something like that so sa mga ganung paraan maaari tayong gumaling no dun sa larangan na yon so ang isang bagay lang na kailangan nating isaalang-alang minsan or sabi nating madalas sana no yung pag-amin sa ating mga sarili na yung mga areas ng kahinaan natin di ba sabi ko kanina ng simula no this pandemic pwede nating ma-discover yung strengths and weaknesses natin strengths pag nakita mo yung strength mo pag-igihin pa, di ba? Enhance. But when you feel that this is your weakness, for example, then you can do something to strengthen it. Okay? And that will help boost your self-esteem. Di ba? So, may mga, marami ng mga bagay ngayon uh, na kayang-kaya nating i-navigate para matulungan tayo na tumaas no yung level ng ating self esteem dun sa larangan na yon so although we can still have high self esteem in some areas while simultaneously having uh, probably negative uh, self esteem in others but we should not let negativity no <clears throat> sorry um, invade us no there is always something that we can do positively out of these negative things that we are experiencing. And uh, we could strengthen our self-esteem no, with our experiences in this pandemic. Okay? So there. So that's about self-esteem. Now, we go to the last one, no? the ideal self. Okay? Ano bang ideal self? Yan. The self we would like to be. So, yun yung gusto nating maging. Ba? So, there's, often, there's a difference between one self-image and one's ideal self. Okay? Um, 
this incongruity can negatively impact one's self-esteem. So you see yung tatlo, relat, uh, kumbaga parang uh, magkaka, magkakaugnay. So hindi mo talaga pwedeng isang tabi yung isa para mabuo yung self-concept mo, no? according to Rogers. Yung tatlong yan magkakasama. So may, kung may incongruence no? between uh, self-image at ideal self. Halimbawa, ito yung tingin mo sa ito yung gusto mong maging sa sarili mo. Pero ito yung ginagawa mo. Okay? Self-image. Then it could impact your self-esteem. Kaya dapat congruent sila. Okay? So according to Carl Rogers, self-image and ideal self can be congruent or incongruent. Congruence between the self-image and Ideal self means that there is a fair amount of overlap between the two. While it is too difficult, if not possible, to achieve a perfect congruence, tandaan po natin yung sabi niya, while it is difficult, if not impossible, to achieve perfect congruence, greater congruence will enable self-actualization. So yun. So, Incongruence between the self-image and ideal self means there's a discrepancy between oneself and one's experiences, leading to internal confusion that prevents self-actualization. So, it's important, kaya importante yung ano, we have honest friends or family members to help us identify or... Uh, shall we say, validate our strengths and weaknesses, no? So, minsan kasi, iba yung pagkakaalam natin sa ating sarili sa nakikita ng iba, no? Na ipinapakita natin. So, dapat may congruence doon sa dalawa. Kaya, if you are familiar with another, ano, yung another activity sa psychology, it's Johari Window. Ah, ang ganda pong activity no, no? Ah, doon, Uh, makikita mo yung, yung di ba, meron tayong tinatawag na blind self, mga ganon, no? Open. So, that activity could help, no? As discover or uh, na makita, no? Kung congruent ba yung ating self-image sa ideal self. Okay. So, there. So, there are the three components of self-concepts. And, uh, That should help us answer the question, who am I? Okay, now, let us do an activity. Meron po ba kayong mga papel dyan? Paper, pencil, magsasagot po tayo, no? Tignan nga natin. Mag-relax muna tayo. Ayan, so, let's have the Rosenberg self-esteem scale. So, tignan nga natin kung... Uh, kung gaano, kung ano ang level ng ating self-esteem. Meron po ba? So, ilabas po ang ating mga uh, paper and pencil. Tignan natin. Okay, so, there. So, you answer strongly agree. So, A, kung strongly agree. B, kung agree. C, kung disagree. At B, kung strongly disagree. Okay. Item number one, I feel that I am a person of worth. I am as good as anybody else. Okay, so write your answer. Number two, I feel that there are a lot of good things about me. Number three, I feel that I fail a lot. Number four, I can do things as well as most other people. Number five, I do not have much to be proud of. Number six, I wish I had more self, more respect for myself. Number seven, I feel useless at times. Number eight, Sometimes I think I'm no good at all. Number nine, I like myself. And number ten, 
I am happy with myself. Okay, tapos na po ba? Okay, ready for scoring? Mag-score na po tayo. Ready na po? Okay. Ayan. So for items 1, 2, 4, 9, and 10. Ito po ang scoring natin, ha? Items 1, 2, 4, 9, and 10. Strongly agree, 3. Agree, 2. Disagree, 1. Strongly disagree, 0. And for items 3, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Strongly agree is zero. Agree, one. Disagree, two. Strongly disagree, three. Tapos si total po natin. Okay, finished. Okay, so here is the interpretation. Yan. So kung may 0 to 15, 0 to 15 yung points po na nakuha ninyo, it suggests low self-esteem. So... We have to do something, no? Uh, para ma tumaas ang ating self-esteem. Okay, if you got 16 to 25, that's within the normal range. Okay, and when you have 16 to uh, 26 to 30, so that suggests high self-esteem. Okay? So there. So, um... Yung self-concept natin has also something to do with our core values. So yung core values natin nakakatulong no uh, dun sa uh, pag pag ano natin ng ng sarili nating konsepto sa sarili natin. Ay ang gulo no. Self-concept to strengthen our self-concept no to help us no uh, with our self-concept. So Ano ang ating mga core values? Meron po ba tayong core values? Meron kung, kung sa DepEd, di ba? Ano yung mga core values natin? Maka-Diyos, maka-tao, makakalikasan, makabansa. Ah, ah, meron pa ba? Okay. How about sa sarili natin? No? Ano yung mga core values? Can you recall yung mga core values na, na ina-adhere natin? Do, do we adhere to or binavalue ba? Ano yung mga binavalue natin? Honesty, integrity, ano pa ba? Okay? Ano yung mga binavalue natin? So let's try to recall because we will be needing that in our next activity. Okay? Sige, let's try to recall. <clears throat> so, are you ready? So sabi natin kanina, congruence among the three, okay, is very important to achieve that positive self-concept, okay, that uh, we are all aiming for, okay, and ang values natin kasama po doon, core values. Okay, so get ready with your paper and pencil again. Madali lang to ngayon, yes or no. Okay, let's try to have a quick assessment of core values and let's try to conduct congruence. Yan. 
Okay. So there. So answer with yes or no. So number one, from the hundreds of values that are important to you, can you identify clearly your five core values? Uh, and, and, and if you can identify, ano yung mga yun? Siya mo na-identify ninyo, ano yung mga yun? Okay? Next question. Are you able to clearly place five core values in a hierarchy from the most important to the relatively least important oh, kaya ba natin na ilagay doon i, i rank no from the most important to the least important number 3 do you feel ambiguous about your core values Number four, when there is a conflict between some of your core values, are you able to solve it quickly? My conflict. Number five, all in all, do you feel that your daily conduct, of behave, conduct and behavior at work and at home is aligned with your values? Consistent ba? Humbaga, no? Number six, do your core values serve you the same way at home and at work? Number seven, is your behavior during crisis like the corona pandemic guided by your core values? Number eight, do you keep on changing your core values to satisfy your surroundings? Number nine, do you keep on changing your core values to satisfy your bosses and colleagues in work settings? And number 10, would you agree that your core values and corresponding conduct are meaningful and give essence to your life? Okay, finish na po. Okay. <clears throat> Tapos na po ba? Minsan, no, magandang mag magsagot ng mga ganitong tests. Eh. Okay, minsan it helps us validate or it helps us improve, no? Mas maganda pa sana kung yung, ano, yung, yung mga in-depth na psychological tests that we, we could discover a lot of things about ourselves and uh, you know there are ways to improve okay yeah. kasi scientific siya okay so done na po let's go to the next ayan so count the number of yes and no ngayon for numbers 3, 8 and 9 baliktad kasi yun eh no? napansin ba natin yung mga items na yun so, if you answered for uh, yes sa 3, 8, and 9, count it as no. If you answered no, count it as yes. And then, count yun na naman, ilan yung yes tsaka no. U ulit. So, reverse the scores for 3, 8, and 9. No? Uh, kung ang sagot nyo doon ay yes, you count it as no. Kung ang sagot ninyo doon ay no, you count it as yes. 
And then bilangin niyo na yung yung ano, yung uh, yes and no. Sabi dito if you have six or more no's, it suggests a high value of incongruence. Di ba sabi natin kanina, uh, dapat may congruence to achieve the positive self concept. No? Now, uh, ayan nga, kung marami, no, uh, there is little congruence among the three concepts, uh, among the three components of self-concept. And if this happens, we need to work on it. Okay? So, at least we know. Diba? Yun yung positive doon that, you know, uh, we can work on it. Okay? Hindi yung dyan na. No? I yun nga yung importansya ng mga self-assessment na mga ganito. No? At least nalalaman natin, na-validate natin, or na-affirm tayo no? dun sa mga uh, minsan akala lang natin no? na, na ginagawa natin or what. Okay? So, there. So, may ano ba? May enlightenment ba on our part? No? Dun sa mga tests na ano, na na sinagutan natin ngayong umaga. Okay? I hope, no? Because this could this could be of help to us, no? Imagine yung sa ano, yung sa dito kanina, yan, yung core values natin napakalaki pala, no, ng ng uh, ng uh, impact, no, sa ating uh, development or enhancement ng self-concept. Okay? So there, remember the three components of self-concept should be congruent. No? Or sabi kanila medyo difficult. Overlap, no? Uh, most, yung parang at least uh, hindi yung yung sobra-sobra yung isa, no? Yung isa naman ay kulang na kulang. There should be a certain degree of congruence to achieve the positive self-concept. Okay, so let us go now to this one, no? So, tips for boosting self-esteem and enhancing value in congruence. Kasi sabi natin kanina, kapag hindi hindi congruent yung self, self, uh, yung ideal self at saka yung self, uh, uh, yung uh, self-worth, no? yung uh, self-image at saka yung ideal self, then there is imbalance. So, hindi natin ma-achieve ang ating self-esteem. Okay. So, now, there are, these are the tips for boosting self-esteem and enhancing value in congruence. Okay? Yeah. Number one, be kind. Stop being overly critical of yourself. Di ba? Napakataas ba ng ating standard na minsan wala na tayong makita sa ating sarili kundi pagkakamali? Diba? So, now, going back to your core values, no? Um, ask yourself if you conduct your daily life in corresponding to the hierarchy of your of your identified core values. Para, uh, para ano, para hindi ka maging overly critical of yourself. Okay? So, there. So, stop being overly critical of yourself. Okay. Next. Yan. Don't compare yourself with others. So, kaya minsan nadidepress tayo kasi parang, uh, yun, kinocompare natin ang ating sarili sa iba. Don't. No? Sabi nga, di ba, we are made in the image and likeness of God. Different from each other so that we can blend well. Right? Yan. So, uh, just ensure that you have realistic goals and objectives para para ano siya attainable siya no and that the values that you have selected are aligned with these goals and objectives okay apart from that um you can challenge yourselves okay do not compare what if kasi ganito what if uh what if in comparing yourself to others, you'll never be better than, than them? 
than those persons you're comparing yourself with. Dinasa ng self-esteem mo, di ba? So, let us try to work with our strengths. Okay? Let's try to challenge, no? Ourselves. Okay? Kung ano yung, halimbawa, kung ano yung pinar form natin ngayon, yun yung i-challenge natin. Ah, nagawa ko yan last year. Kailangan, kailangan mas ma-enhance ko yun. Kailangan mas, mas maganda ang magawa ko kaysa dun sa nagawa ko dati. You know, let's challenge our best. Okay? So, do not compare yung, uh, do not compare ourselves with others. You know, you will discover when you challenge your best, no, Ma marami kayong makikita sa sarili niyo ay kaya ko pala ito. Okay? And then nandun yung innate na happiness kasi na-achieve mo yun kasi akala mo hindi mo siya kakayanin, no? But then, you challenged your best. So you keep improving when you, ch you are challenging your best. When you are not comparing yourselves with others. Okay? So there. Next. Ayan. Surround yourself with positive people. Kahit na yun eh, pag sinabi mong positive and negative, that's, that's ano naman, hindi yun yung ibig nating sabihin. Ano? Positive people, di ba? Yung mga, yung ano nila, yung mga aura nila, yung mga sinasabi nila, at wow, nakaka-encourage. No? Yan. So, let us try to understand that values are dynamic, no? Dynamic yung mga values. They may change in different contexts. Ganyan. So, uh, let us be with people with, uh, with, our, with, with the same values that we adhere to. Okay? Yun. Para ano? Para, ayan, positive people. Diba? Nakakaganda ng vibes ang mga ano, ang mga... Uh, ang mga tao na napakaganda ng ng kanilang disposition right hindi yung yung puro negativity okay so lalo na ngayon yung pandemic di ba uh, kailangan natin na isurround ang, ang ang ating mga sarili ng mga tao na na makakatulong sa ating uh, mental health no hindi yung yung mga problema ka pa no but i'm not saying that you you can na na iwasan niyo naman yung mga humihingi ng tulong no what if you are their strength diba but you can help those people you know look at at something positive perhaps in whatever experience that that the that they are uh, uh, whatever situation they're experiencing there be the light okay there number four there stop giving so much importance to others opinions i i want to highlight so much importance no it's okay naman no to to uh, to give importance to others opinions kasi minsan uh kumbaga parang um nakaka-contribute naman no but let us try to uh, I mean, tignan natin, no, kung halimbawang yung pagbibigay natin sob ng sobra-sobra importansya sa, kanil sa opinion ng iba ay nakakasira na sa ating self-esteem. Okay? So, there. So, make sure that in relation to your five values, no, yung core values nyo, make sure that the five values that you have are very clear to you, okay? So that in case of conflict, no, halimbawa yan, eh, yung, yun nga, yung opinion ng iba, in case of may conflict doon, you will behave according to the hierarchy of the values that you have identified. Okay? So, yun po. So, ganun yung pag-weigh natin, no, ng ano, ng, ng, uh, ng importansya, ng opinion ng iba sa atin. Let us go back to our values. Okay. Core values. Number five. Don't berate yourself for making mistakes. Diba? We do, sometimes, uh, we, we really do mistakes. But what is important is if, if you 
uh, parang, uh, you make something good out of that. You learn from that mistake. Okay, so try to revise periodically your values and check the congruence in terms of time and efforts that correspond to your core, to your core values. Okay? Next, stop repetitive negative thoughts. Ayan. So, minsan yan, sabi nga natin kanina, doon sa, dun sa mga, uh, doon sa ano natin kanina, na-discuss natin, no? Parang, Neg, nagiging nega na, no? So, stop repetitive negative thoughts. So, be open-minded and not obsessive with your values and allow some changes as context might change, okay? So, there. So, kumbaga medyo minsan, let us weigh, okay? Let us weigh kung ano yung mga values natin na na kumbaga parang kinoconsider, okay, that minsan naglilid na siya sa negative thoughts, okay? So there, let us be open-minded and not obsessive with our values. If it is causing us negative thoughts, then tignan natin, evaluate natin, no? Okay, next, practice positive affirmations daily. Ayan, Ah, napaka ganda no na may, let's make it a habit na let us affirm ourselves let us congratulate ourselves every day for 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 all the small things that we do no then let's practice positive affirmations daily okay so that would lead us probably to knowing what no is a positive self concept okay so so what then is positive self concept so sabi dito it is a growing belief about yourself that helps you to cope successfully with the events in your life and then to make a positive impact on the lives of others so you see what positive concept and self concept can do to make a positive impact on the lives of others Diba? Napakaganda po, no? Now, uh, so with this that we have, no? Really, coping with pandemic, with the pandemic, starts with ourselves. Nakikita niyo po yung ano, nakita niyo yung ano, yung flow, no? From the different uh, studies conducted, it goes back to the self. That's why we really need to strengthen ourselves. And for us teachers, we should help our our, our students, no? Have that positive concept. Sana sa susunod, yun naman yung ano natin, yung i-discuss natin, no? Yung kung paano natin matutulungan yung ating mga bata, yung ating mga anak, no? Na magkaroon ng positive self-concept. Kasi ito ang bala nila. Pag uh, bombarded sila ng, kanin, ng iba't ibang mga concerns. Okay, so there. So, um, a study was conducted by Bracken et al. No, on healthy self concepts. The study describes how healthy self concepts are grown. Okay, using an agricultural metaphor. So, dun mo na makikita, no? Sabi dyan, um, Paano ba nagkakaroon ng healthy self-concept? And they have made a study about this. No? Sabi dito, kung paano daw tayo magpatubo ng halaman, ganoon din ang pagpapatubo or pagpapalago ng ating self-concept. Naiisip niyo na po ba yung parallelism doon? Pag nagtanim ka ng halaman, ano ba yung ginagawa mo? Ganun din daw, no? Uh, para mapalago ang ating self-concept. Kaya, hindi siya sikreto, no? Hindi siya sikreto na mga psychologists lang nakakaalam, lahat ay maaaring mag-contribute sa pag-develop or pag-enhance ng sariling concept at ng iba pa, no? Gaya ng ating mga mag-aaral. Actually, napakahalaga po yan ng, 
ano napakahalaga niyang ano na na i-develop sa ating mga anak, sa ating youth. That's that's very important, no? Okay? So kailangan lang ng ano ng uh, siguro kailangan ng evidence-based strategies, realistic targets, uh syempre planning, no? Uh, at saka yung application ng ating mga uh, strategies, no? Uh, para matulungan sila na magkaroon ng positive self concept or matulungan ang ating mga sarili no na ma-build ang ating positive self concept okay so how do we build or enhance our positive self concept yan so una muna no this one is very important no take a self image inventory uh Kasi dito malalaman natin kung ano yung mga strengths and weaknesses natin. Kaya ako pa sinasabi yung strengths and weaknesses, no? Kasi napakahalaga talaga eh. Kasi once na nalaman mo kung saan ka weak, no? Uh, at least uh, ma ma makakatulong yung yung information na yon para matulungan ka na na pa palaguin or yung strengthen yung weakness na yon no kung kung strength mo naman na wow you have to enhance that okay next ayan can you make a list of your positive qualities diba when you're feeling down do this one make a list of your positive qualities kasi imposibleng kakaunti lang marami yan be kind to yourself no or Ask other people also, di ba? <clears throat> to help you make a list of your positive qualities. Okay, making this, making a list of these positive qualities will, will uh, enhance yung pagtingin mo sa sarili mo, no? Okay? So there. Ayan, sasabi ko kanina, no? Sa Johari window na activity, pwedeng tanungin yung iba <clears throat> to describe your positive qualities. Kasi nga, minsan, hindi natin nakikita eh. Diba? O minsan na lang sasabihin ng iba sa atin, ay, ganito ka pala. O, dun pala natin na-discover. And that could boost our self-esteem and that could help <clears throat> in forming the congruence of the ideal self, the the self uh, uh i mean ideal self yung isa pa uh, self uh, image and uh the self esteem okay next define personal goals and objectives that are reasonable and measurable diba yung stairs hindi na yung sa building hindi naman kaagad sa taas <laughs> elevator sorry stairs tayo stairs okay so, uh, one step at a time. So, develop or define personal goals and objectives that are reasonable and measurable. O, kapag na-achieve na natin yan, we go to the next step. Okay? Kasi minsan, kapag, kapag mataas na kaagad, yun. Tapos hindi nag-succeed, yun. Minsan, bumababa talaga, no? Yung ating pagtingin sa ating sarili. Okay? So, define personal goals and objectives that are reasonable and measurable. Okay, number five, confront thinking distortion. So, like for example, no, um, reframe your thoughts. So, ito yung pangyay, ito yung nakikita nating nangyari. No, i-reframe natin. Let's say for example, yung mga experiences natin ngayong pandemic, no, halimbawa, uh, yung sa ECQ, ganyan. ECQ na naman, ganyan. So, instead of focusing on the situation of being just at home na uh, hindi tayo makalabas, why not focus on being with your family? ba? So, ganon. Try to confront no thinking distortions. Next, identify and explore the impact of childhood labels. Okay? So, meron ba tayong mga, mga hindi maganda no, na experiences noon? Let's try to identify and explore that. 
uh, saan ba tayo dinala nung childhood label na yun? Nakaganda ba sa atin? Or nakasama? Diba? Kung nakasama, ano ang dapat nating gawin? Diba? Kung, kung nakasama at nakakaapekto sa positive self-concept natin, ano ang dapat nating gawin? Right? Refrain from comparing. Okay, na-discuss mo na to kanina. Comparing yourselves to others. Ayan. So, develop your strengths. Tignan natin no, kung ano yung mga strengths natin. Because that's, that's, uh, uh, that would help us okay, enhance our uh, self-esteem and eventually our positive self-concept. Ayan. Learn to love yourself. No, may kanta dyan eh. Learning, di ba? Ano na ba yun? Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. Okay. Learn to love yourself. Huwag masyadong negative ang tingin natin sa sarili natin. Balansihin natin. No? Okay. Give positive affirmations, which was also mentioned a while back. Okay. Yan, sabi ko rin kanina, remember that you are unique. Magkakaiba tayo, kaya nga magkakaiba tayo ng talent, magkakaiba tayo ng, sa maraming bagay. So that we will be needing our, each other. Diba? Unity in diversity. Okay, so we have our own uniqueness. And then, ayan, remember how far you have come. Acknowledge it, no? Na, noon, ganito lang ako. Ngayon, ganito na ako. So that means may pagbabago. So ito, kayo ko pang dalhin sa mas mataas na level. ba? Diba? Kung noon, ganito ako, nagawa kong ganito ako ngayon. So maaari ko siyang dalhin sa susunod na level by having, ayan, personal goals and objectives that are reasonable and measurable. Okay? So, for this learning session, I want to leave you with this quote from Aristotle. Ayan. So, sabi dyan, knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. And I would like to add to this that when you know yourself, you become empowered and you will be able to hurdle challenges even this pandemic. Okay, so these are my references for this uh, learning session. And thank you very much for being with me this morning. Thank you very much for H, uh, to HNU for your trust. Okay, so thank you for being with me this learning session. Thank you for... Hi, Ma'am Joy. Hi, Ma'am Joy. Thank you very much, Ma'am Joy, for having us today, uh, for enlightening us. Uh, napakaganda po ng ating uh, narinig sa araw na ito regarding positive self-concept. So, totoo nga, Ma'am Ma Joy, kailangan maging parang bata tayo. Pag binus tayo, dapat nag-relief ka agad. Ganun. That's true, Ma'am. Yes. yes. Then, kailangan nating matuto or enhance yung sarili natin or i-build para maging laging positive, especially this type of pandemic. Actually, beforehand pa naman, kahit hindi pa pandemic, Ma'am, di ba po, nakaka-encounter na tayo ng iba't ibang challenges. That's but true, But this time, dadagdagan lang nga. <laughs> so, yeah. Iba tong panahon ngayon, dahil hindi natin alam kung long-term ba ito o short-term ba ito. But That's what, true. Uh, ang kagandahan, ma'am, uh, nandiyan po kayo, talagang very timely din po yung, yung ganitong klaseng program natin na mabigyan natin, ma'am, ng uh, parang uh, i not to educate lang, kundi parang ipapaalala sa bawat isa na there is hope, ma'am, na hindi tayo dapat maging hopeless. Kasi sometimes, yung na-encounter natin, normal lang naman. So, it's up to That's us, ma'am, on how we handle the situation. Yes. Thank you very so, much, ma'am, Joy. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. I hope Ma'am Joy ano uh may invite ka namin for the next uh webinar next time. Na hindi kayo magsasawa sa amin. Uh, it, thank you din po di kayo nagsasawa sa akin. <laughs> yes po. Thank you very much Ma'am. And today Ma'am uh so hindi po nagtatapos yung ating program today. So uh Alam ko lahat nandiyan pa rin present na nakikinig kasi napakaganda nga ng ating uh, lecture ngayon. So, we have our online quiz. So, please follow lang po the following format. Uh, yung name po natin, name of school, tapos tagot po natin at city number po natin. So, ano po ba yung ating uh, prices sa araw na ito? So, hindi na siguro lingid sa iba kasi before our webinar, nagkaroon na ng ganitong uh, uh, quiz, online quiz. Hindi po ito mahirap, madali lang po ito. And Ma'am Joy, yung last question po natin ay manggagaling po sa inyo. Yung ating final questions para po sa ating uh, um, grand final uh, uh, questions po natin. So, yung we have five po na questioner and each five po uh, makakatanggap po ng 100 pesos po uh, uh, load. Ayan, not convertible to cash. <laughs> and our uh, grand prize is yung complete eyeglasses po worth 2,500. Ang ating sponsor is from... Vision Saver Optical Clinic. And yung 500 po na worth uh, each 100 para po sa ating teaching and non-teaching. So, lahat po are invited. So, uh, this uh, sponsored by the Rotary Club of Santiago. So, start na po ba tayo? Sir Marfield? Ayan. Questions num- uh, question number one. Ayan. Ma'am Joy, <laughs> join nyo ako sa question and answer. <laughs> Ayan. 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 For question number one. Oh, madali lang to. Oo. Oh, oh. Fill in the blank. Ayan. Pakita natin Sir Marfil yung ating uh, first question. So our first question po is a way of pay a blank is a way of paying attention to the here and now with kindness. Ano po ang sagot? Ayun. Magka-countdown ba tayo, Ma'am Joy? Ah, <laughs> uh, make sure po na i-follow po nila yung format nung pag uh, pagpo-post ng sagot. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ayan. Oh. Okay. Uh, Ma'am Joy, uh, ang sagot ni Sir Mark Edson Santiago from Santiago North Central School Sabi niya, proactive listening. Tama po ba? Sir <laughs> Edson! Paying attention to the here and now with kindness. Konti pa, Sir Edson. Try Konti again. Pa. <laughs> Try more. Yan, challenge to sa atin, sa ating self-esteem. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> nice. Ayan. Magbibigay ba tayo ng clue? Magbibigay po ba tayo ng clue, ma'am? First letter. <laughs> Sige, ma'am. Wow, okay. proactive listening. Oh, ano ba? First letter is letter M. <laughs> Ayan, mag- nagbigay na po kami ng clue. First letter is letter M. M. And ends with letter L. <laughs> Dalawang clue na. Ayun. Ayun. Ayan. Pero nang nanalo Ayan. sa ating first prize na worth 
100 pesos load. Yan. Screenshot ko lang. Uh, Sir Mark, please validate po Sir Mark. Uh, tama ba? Name? Answer? Tapos cellphone number? Parang may kulang. Yan, name? Kailangan my name of school. Answer? Tapos CP number. So more pa? <laughs> Ayan, another po is Ma'am uh, Loreli Casiano from RNHS Mindfulness ang sagot niya. So, may nanalo na, Ma'am. <laughs> si Ma'am Loreli Casiano na complete niya at nasunod niya ang uh, yung ating format for today. So, name school answer and cell phone number so congratulations ma'am lorely ayan okay next question po question number two ayan ang price po natin is uh, 100 pesos each load and yung grand prize po natin na complete ay glass po. Ayan. Again, reminders, ang format po ng ating online quiz is name, name of school, answer po, tapos CP number. Ayan. E ready, ready nyo na po para mas mabilis. Answer na lang. Ayan. Question number two. Ayan, okay. Ma'am Joy, please po. Pakirid po ang ating online quiz. Yan, sama natin si Ma'am Joy. Okay, so true or false. One of the common work-related factors that can add to stress during a pandemic is the lack of access to the tools and equipment needed to perform one's job. True oh, or antali. false? Ang dali lang ng question natin ngayon. True or false lang. <laughs> pamigay, ma'am. Pamigay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pamigay talaga. Ayan. Ay, may okay. nauna kanina. Ilang nauna na yun na kanina. Nako. Na <laughs> Sino yun? Sir Marfield. Ito ba yung nauna? Si Sir Edson po ang nauna based sa ating mga sagot po. Si siya ba? Ay, tignan nyo. May mga nauna kanina, sir. Si Sir hmm. Edson. Pero tignan nyo. Tignan nyo mabuti. Siya talaga ang nauna, ma'am. Based dito ah. sa list ko. Siya talaga. Ah, okay, okay. Sige, okay, sir. so tignan oh, natin kung tama ang sagot monitor. ni Sir Edson. Tapos basahin din natin, sir, ano, yung mga sumusunod. Kung nagkaroon ba ng ibang sagot maliban sa true. Okay, sir, Mark Edson Santiago from... Uh, Santiago North Central School ang sagot niya ay true and yung isa naman Sir Marfield ayan nakikinig sila kanina Ma'am Joy <laughs> Sir uh, Sami true din po ang sagot niya Ma'am Carla true din po ang sagot niya ayun yun ang false <laughs> okay sabihin na natin ang tamang sagot ang tamang sagot ay true true Ayan, true. Congratulations, Sir Mark Edson Santiago of Santiago North Central School. Ayan. Ayan. Ang hirap ng mga tanong natin. <laughs> Ayan. Hindi sila, ano, talagang, ano sila, ma'am, attentive sila kanina. Nakinig sila kasi tama ang mga sagot nila. Walang nag-false. Okay. Number three. Number three, question. Ayan. Nagroleta yata si Sir Martin. Lalabas din ang sagot. Ayan. Okay. Okay. 
Yan. Fill in the blanks again. Number three. A blank is a common and serious medical illness that negatively, that negatively affects, affects how one feels the way one thinks and the way one, one acts. acts. So, yan. Hintayin natin, ma'am, kung ano ang sagot nila. Fill in the blanks ngayon. Yan. <laughs> Welcome, Sir Mark. It's a Santiago. Till next time po, Sir Mark. <laughs> Meron pa tayong susunod na comprehensive health education program hanggang December baka, to. Baka makuha uli ni Sir Edson yung susunod, ma'am. Oo. Oh, oh. Ay! <laughs> Ito. Okay. Uh, sa, uh, ang sagot naman ni Sir uh, Edsel Domingo ng Kabulay High School is anxiety. More pa? <laughs> Okay, tingnan natin kung meron pang ibang sagot. Yes. Okay, Sir Moises G. Torres naman ay stress. stress. Okay. Malapit-lapit na. Pa, sir. Ayun, sabi ko eh, ah. makukuha na naman ni <laughs> Sir Edson eh. <laughs> Ma'am, nakikinig sila sa'yo. <laughs> ah. Ang Santiago Thank North Sir Edson. School. Sir Edson Santiago, ang sagot niya ay depression. depression. So, thank you po sa dalawang sumali. May nanalo na po tayo. Again, pangalawang beses. So, Opa. Sir Mark uh, Edson Santiago. Ang sagot po ay depression. Paunahan po ito lang sagot. May technique po dyan. Dapat nakasulat na yung name ninyo at <laughs> number. Sir. Ganun ang ginagawa Correct. ng iba. Wrong spelling, yes, wrong sir. po ah. Pakicheck yung spelling. Yes. Oo, wrong spelling, wrong din. Apa, okay. congratulations, sir mga, Edson. Last time natin, sir Marfil, yung mga bata, ang bilis-bilis nila. Kasi alam na nila yung technique. Yung sagot <laughs> lang ang tapanggalin. <laughs> Ayan, oh, oh. tips yan sa araw na to. So, next question, number four. Two more po para sa ating uh, grand final po na Complete Eyeglass World 2500 sponsored by Vision Saber Optical Clinic. Yan. By Dr. Carlo De Luna. Ang supportive, At ma'am. Ang... <laughs> <laughs> Kailan ko lang po siya oh, diba? yung ating partner, ma'am. Kanya <laughs> na po yung tanong, ma'am Joy. Actually, ang busy niyang tao, hindi ko siya ma-reach out nung nakaraan, pero na-reach out po siya kagabi. Kagabi lang kami nag-usap. Sabi ko, Doc, kailangan namin ng sponsor ulit sa ating webinar series. Yan. <laughs> Ah, siyempre, hindi naman siya nag, ano, nagdalawang isip. Naku, Isang beses lang, nagdalawang lang, isip lang, yun. <laughs> For that end. <laughs> Kaka, alam ko ma'am, kailangan ng mga teacher ngayon. May tamang Yun sagot lang. na po. At marami ng... Ma'am Joy, ma'am. Ma'am Joy. Ma Joy. Ay, ayan. So, ayan. True or false, anxiety is an emotion characterized by feelings of tension, worried thoughts, and physical changes. And that is... True. Ayan. Si Ma'am Carla Joy. Ayan. Nanalo na. Okay. Thank you, Ma'am Carla Joy. Ayan. Talagang uh, magiging fast track na tayo ngayon. <laughs> At, <laughs> okay. May isa pang... Uh, ah, ika fifth question pa. May isa pa tayong tanong. Ayan. Next question, Sir Marv. Ready na ba tayo, Ma'am Joy? 
sa ating grand final question. <laughs> after I, ako na ma'am, ay after number five. Yung Sige. grand final later ma'am. Pero meron pa Sige, tayong ma'am. number five. Waiting for Sir okay. Marv to post po. Ayan. Thank you again sa ating sponsor. <laughs> Multiple choice po ito. Ayan. This is how you perceive your behavior, abilities, and unique characteristics. So, letter lang ba ang ilalagay, Sir Marfield? A, anxiety. B, depression. C, self-concept. Letter and word po. Letter and word. Uh, letter and word daw po ang ilalagay. Mm -hmm. Again, letter and word po. Letter and word. Okay. Ah, Sayang, bakit underscore ang ginamit ni madam? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Mark, actually parang nal nalito ako kanina kasi sabi ko may line-line na. <laughs> Sayang, Ma'am Mary Jane Santos. Sayang. Sorry po, Ma'am Mary Jane Ay, Santos. More up po, Ma'am Mary Jane. Ay. Tama, tama. Ayan. Okay, again. Okay. Again, si Ma'am Carla Joy Larenas po from uh, Southwest Central School. Ang sagot niya po, Yay. letter C, self-concept. Yay! Congratulations po, Ma'am Carla. Parang dalawang beses na rin po si Ma'am Carla. Yes, yes dalawa po. <laughs> oh, parang si Sir Edson lang. Ang gagaling ng mga ano natin, oh, cluster. Oh <laughs> teachers. Yani, uh, thank you very much po, Doc De Luna, for our grand prize. Yung tanong po ay manggagaling kay Ma'am Joy. This is a 2,500 wow. worth of prescription eyeglasses, courtesy of course by Vision Saber Optical Clinic by Doc Carlo De Luna. Okay. Located po lang ito sa Centro. Ma'am Joy, Ma'am Joy. Yes, located at Centro Mall, San Carlos City po. Second yes, po. Located, floor. Yeah, located at the second floor of, ano na, <laughs> Save More. Centro Mall. Centro Mall. Centro Mall. Okay. Yeah. Ito, napakadali lang nito. Kasi, syempre, we have to develop our self-concept, di ba? Now, according to Carl Rogers... So, what are no uh, the uh, three different components that make up our self-concept? So, so tatlo yun, Ma'am Joy. Yes, tatlo yun, three. So, according to Carl Rogers, our humanist psychologist, what are the three components of self-concept? For three, uh, 2,500 worth of prescription eyeglasses. Wow, magandang salamin na yan. Opo, sana all. Mm -mm, oo <laughs> nga. <laughs> Ang ganda ng glasses na binigay nila last time. Yes. Thank uh, you, Doc. Second time na po ito. Kung nanonood mm -hmm. si Doc De Luna, thank you very much po, Doc, for yes, sponsoring. Yes, thank you, Doc. For for your ano uh, unparalleled support, my and generosity. Gentleman. Yes. <laughs> Ayan, may mga sagot na po from Mom Carla. Tignan natin kung tama. Wow, self esteem, self image, self esteem, and ideal self, and that is correct. Wait lang, ma'am. I-compare okay. natin sa i-compare natin sa sagot ni Sir Edson, kasi si Sir Edson uh, mindful siya sa mga spacing eh. Oh, oh. <laughs> may may yung kanina parang iba yung self esteem na pagka ano niya. Tama ah, hindi. Meron na magkadugtong Ay, yung number na ano. <laughs> <laughs> Ala, ganun, eh, syempre, ganun talaga technique. Yes, yeah, syempre ganun kasi 2,500 ito. Oh, mindful yeah. tayo, Ma'am Joy, mindful. Tama, mindful, focus. <laughs> Bagal oh, daw ng net nila, ate, ano, ate Zarlene. 
So I think ah, paano ito? Ma'am ano, Ma'am Che. Ah, oh. Shan, meron na bang nanalo Sir Marv? Paki-check Ma'am Joy kung tama ba ang sagot niya. Yun nga parehas naman silang tama. Yun Pero na mas ano, sabi nyo. Opo, mas tama yung sagot ni Sir Edson <laughs> kasi parang medyo yung kay Ma'am Carla eh, kwan, meron yung mga magkakadikit. Ganon? Oo, mindful Ooh. kasi si Sir Edson. <laughs> <laughs> mindful siya sa spacing. <laughs> Sir Edson, dalawa kasi profession mo. Kaya very mindful. Na-stress tuloy si, ano, na-stress si Ma'am Carla. Sabi niya, siguro, alam, wala, wala kong space. Ang tawag ba? Kailangan may realization na ngayon. Na ano, na... na, na na sacrifice yung price dahil sa space. <laughs> sa bagay kung sa Google form yan, no? Hindi niya oh, hindi tatanggapin. <laughs> true, true, true. Ayan. So, i-announce na ni Ma'am Joy ang ating winner for today. Grand prize uh, award winner. Award 2,500. Uh, oh, grand prize, complete eyeglass sa Vision Saber Optical Clinic. Sir Edson, alam mo na ang location. Ayan, bring your ID. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, ma'am. Masaya Ayan, sa'yo naman. Yun lang po. Congratulations, Sir Edson. Nandito ka ba ngayon? Pa-burger ka. <laughs> And thank you very much. Thank you very Ayan. much po sa mga nag-participate ngayong umaga. I hope that uh, after this, no, we'll try to, uh, let's try to strengthen, no? If not develop some parts of our self-concept that are not yet uh, very much uh, enhanced, okay? So yun po. Thank you very much again, H and U, and to of course, okay. Mom SDS, Sir ASDS, and to our chiefs and to the H and U personnel. Thank you po. Okay, Sir Mark. Yeah, so ipo to award naman the certificate of uh, recognition to our very able and competent speaker. Let us welcome Ma'am uh, Nurse Che De Luna for the presentation of the certificate. Ayan, papakita na lang muna Ma'am Joy <laughs> kasi hawak-hawak niya. I-claim mo na lang din <laughs> later Ayan. on. Okay, uh, Ma'am Joy, uh, in grateful recognition of being served as our Mental Health Program Resource Speaker, we would like to award this Certificate of Recognition to Ma'am Joy P. Hermosura, Registered Guidance Counselor and Teacher 3, as a resource speaker during the 2021 Mental Health Program entitled States of Mental Health During the Pandemic, Building a Positive Self-Concept, concept held at Schools Division of Santiago City, given this 10th day of August 2021 at SBO Santiago City. Congratulations, Ma'am Joy! And Congratulations po, Thank you very Ma'am Joy. much, Ma'am Joy. Thank you. Uh-huh. Ma'am Joy, dalhin na lang namin sa office mo itong certificate and <laughs> art token. Ayan. Pagdaan Ayan. namin Thank sa school po. po ninyo. Thank you very much po. And... Also, Sir Marfil, thank you po, and Ma'am Precious, also sa very supportive po uh, to our SDS, Ma'am Che, and our ASDS, also Sir Jonathan, and walang sawa din pong support from our uh, SGOD Chief, Ma'am Rosalia Gutierrez, and the rest of the TWG ng Comprehensive Health Education Program, Sir Riz uh, Echiha, and to all our teachers and non-teachers na, na, na nakipag-participate today and sharing and sharing our link po uh, sa iba para hindi lang po tayo ang matututo. So we expect po and uh, na meron din pong ibang matututo after this pong uh, webinar. This is recorded video po. Uh, saan siya na ano Sir Marfil? Sa YouTube po. Official YouTube channel YouTube. ng SDO Santiago City. Apo. Ayan. So ano lang ang gagawin nila is to i-like uh, yung... Like and subscribe and then mahahanap po nila doon lahat ng mga video recorded po natin on Comprehensive Health uh, Webinar Series. Even yung part 1, episode 1, 2, 
nandun din po, naka, naka-save siya doon. Yes. And also, I would like also to thank... Viewable siya later. Doctor, yes. Dr. Alvin uh, Agustin, our medical officer. So, meron po tayong medical officer. Ayan. Thank you very much. Okay. Again, maraming maraming salamat po. Tayo nga po ay nasa dulo na ng ating broadcast. Muli sa ngalan po ng pamunan ng Schools Division of Santiago City through our SDS Dr. Cherry Salarzon Ramos and ASDS Dr. Jonathan A. Fronda. Ako po ang inyong DIO, Marfil A. Dulay. Ang nagsasabi po na magingat po tayong lahat. God bless and see you po sa susunod na Comprehensive Health Webinar Series 2021 Episode Number 4. Thank you. Thank you, Mang Jo. Thank you.